So we could see some of the best racing of the night now as the track conditions are improving. So semi-final number one on its way. Martin Vasilik coming through with eight points. He's got the dreaded gate to number three. Going to need a minor miracle there if you're going to make the final. They've got a warning for Jason Doyle for the movement on the inside gate earlier on in the evening. And, uh, so he will go from the outside this time. So uh, a good-looking lineup always is, of course, at this time of the night. This is when it comes down to want to make the final, don't you? Don't want to dip out now. Top two going through. Still good points on the line here, of course, in the semi-finals, but want to make the final if you're called, at all possible. On the inside in red, then, is Mikkel Mickelson. Made the final here last year on the rostrum. Robert Lambert hasn't won a Grand Prix. Will it be his night? He's out of gate number two in blue. Gate number three in white is Martin Vasilik. And off the outside, the Australian Jason Doyle in the yellow helmet colour. He's loving it out there. He's won two races this evening uh, from the uh, outside gate. And didn't, did not hesitate, did he? He just went straight for it. Very happy with that. He was indeed. <clears throat> Robert Lambert has backed himself to come out of gate two. You are a little bit vulnerable at this stage of the night. If that man on the inside makes a really good one, you could be in problems going into the first corner. Tense times, Grand Prix Speedway back on our screens, and we're delighted to bring it to you tonight. As I said earlier, it's been a difficult night, but I've got to say there's been plenty of result from everybody concerned. Here we go, then. First semi-final of the year. Tapes are up. Away we go. Even break to the first corner. What a start Doyle. from Doyle. Doyle across there. Here comes Robert Lambert through on the gate number two. It's just about paid off for him. Mickelson back in oh, third place. Mistake. Doyle Lambert's looking at it there, but they're clear. They're away. Lambert looking threatening in second place. But Jason Doyle in the outside start. Working well again. Yeah, the top two have stretched a little bit of a gap. But uh, you can never be too sure. Lambert will just be happy to tuck in, take the second place behind Jason Doyle at this stage, I would suggest. But uh, having a little sneaky look up the inside. Lambert starts in second place. Doyle just running a little wide there. Lost a bit of momentum. But uh, as they approach the last lap here, one lap to go to make the final. Doyle out in front, looking good. Hits the dirt, powers away. That's better from Doyle this time. Robert Lambert comfortably in second place. They're through to the final. First semi of the year, Doyle through in the final. Lambert as well. Mickelson misses out this year, having made the final last year. And Martin Vasilik out of the uh, graveyard that is uh, gate to number three, misses out. Doyle out in front, he's in the final. Lambert in second place joins him. Mikko Mickelson missing out this time in third place, and Martin Vasilik back in fourth. Tough work, but uh, they won't be in the final. For that man, Jason Doyle, delighted and looking good. Some of the decisions clearly working well um, uh, here this evening. Looking good. Yeah, he didn't make the best jump. The first metre off the start was uh, maybe not as good as possibly all three of the other riders, but boy, did he make the bike work to the corner. He got straight across. There, he collects a hole early part of the corner. That forces him to turn the bike really hard. Gets, a, gets himself in a bit of a muddle. Look like Lambert might be able to make the cut back. Uh, but uh, he doesn't make it work for him. And he think he's happy after about the second, third lap just to follow him round and make the semi-final. But uh, Jason Doyle will be very happy with that. Do you know when you see that in slow motion, Chris, it looks really quite untidy. Yeah, it was. And he was having to use a lot of upper body strength there yeah. to hang on to the motorbike. But Doyle's a tough customer, he's super fit, clearly delighted to be in the final.